Let's go sniff this toilet. I genuinely couldn't even start to estimate how much coke goes through the city. From cafes to pubs to bars, there is a crazy amount of coke. I have and I do work in uh, quite high-end hotels at the moment and we do get quite high-end clients and so we have a lot of kind of well-known faces stay with us and so you see a lot of the coke usage anyway through housekeeping. It's a running joke with some of the concierge team who can find the most free drugs after some of these like high-end events. Hi, come in. I can basically walk into any bar and someone will offer me a line. I feel like in London especially, it's so normalized. I think I've met less people that don't do coke than actually do it. I'm Francesca Sniffs. I'm a Sniffluencer, and I rate toilets on TikTok based on how well you can take drugs in the toilet. It's basically a drug influencer. It's not like I want to influence people to do drugs, but it's kind of a play on my, or maybe an over-exaggeration, or maybe it is just me when I go out. Braiding toilets I sniffed. An exquisite toilet to rail a fat line. Sniffability, 10 out of 10. Have you ever had accusations of glamorizing drugs? On oh, TikTok? yes, all the time. How I like to think of it is, what is the difference between me and a movie? I'm just entertaining. I think it's quite similar. What if children see all your TikToks? I mean, children shouldn't be on TikTok. Children love TikTok. Children do love TikTok, but children also watch Euphoria. Almost every teen drama has some teenager snorting coke in the bathroom. What's the difference between that and me? I blocked my parents on all social media. I blocked all of their friends. But somehow my dad had his work colleagues stalk me. Honestly, his reaction was not that bad at all. He's just like worried that I won't get a, a real office job. I think I have like 25,000 followers now on TikTok. So I guess I would say drugs are quite popular. Because of the culture of the UK, we're so proud of being functional drug users. No one wants to be the person who can't do it. It happens all the time, literally all the time. You think to yourself, I'm not going on it tonight. I'm not doing it. And then one of your friends ends up doing it or even just suggesting it. And you just completely turn 180 within a second. I think the majority of Coke users in general don't think that they have a problem. <laughs> Even when the problem is like severely, severely dire, most people tend to be in denial about it. So I think that also creates a big problem with actually having awareness of when things are starting to become a problem rather than just a bit of fun. It's addiction in general that puts people in denial. No one really wants to admit that they're dependent on anything.